Well, it gives me great pleasure to say hello to Mark Ricketts. Thank Welcome you. back to the Lathwaite Community Stadium. Thank you. Which it wasn't when you were here. No. No, I think it did not change the last year I was here. Oh, I, I don't know. Changed. I don't know which year was the last I'm year sure you were here. It, was a, it changed by when or not. Right. Well, as you know, I've told you many times, I bow to no one in my admiration of your contribution to this football club when you were here. And lots of uh, our more seasoned supporters are aware of my uh, preference for you as well. <laughs> but we're being filmed here by one of our excellent volunteers, Leo, who was about seven when you were here or something. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that so, makes me feel old. <laughs> well, I'm exaggerating slightly, maybe 10 or 11. We were talking about it before. But, uh, so you left here, what year was it? Do you remember? Uh, well, I've been at Bromwood now five years. It was right. five, five years ago. So 16 then, maybe? Or? Yeah, 16 or 15. 15 or 16. 15, yeah, 16. Must be 2016. So you're, you're a sort of um, serial monogamist. Because you 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 were here for quite a long time. Yep. And now you've been at Warren Wood quite a long time, and it, and yeah. you served under the same manager pretty much the whole time here, didn't you? And then the, yeah. the same happened at Warren Wood as well. Yeah. And the same before at Ebsley as well. So three years at Ebsley. Yeah. Liam Dacia for three years as well. Right. Right. Yeah. And uh, was, is it a big contrast between uh, Luke Garrard and Gary Hill? Yeah. Yeah. Big contrast in good ways. Both both got their strengths. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, very different. Very different managers. Right, and they, but they seem to be able to bring the best out of you because here you are still playing. Yeah, still, yeah, still going, trying to look after myself as best I can. Um, and yeah, really, really enjoying my football still. Um, the gaffer at Bournemouth, um, he's been brilliant with us and he's very on the training, on the tactics and stuff. And I feel like I've, I've learned, learned even more again, um, even at the later stages of my career, which is, um, which is really enjoyable for me. Do you mind if I ask how old you are now? No, that's no problem. Thirty-six, I think. Oh, just to be fair, one of the boys just said that in there. You, you, how think, old I was. you think? Yeah, that's a double check when I was in there. So you only go back to what year you was born and sort of add it up. But yeah, no, thirty-six. I was, I was actually having the conversation with Ian Nicholson earlier, and we thought you were thirty-five. You're even older than we thought. Yeah, so only a couple of the boys in there thought I was sort of 32, 33. But yeah, right. no, oh, well, that's a compliment to you. I'll take that, yeah. <laughs> and you're still captain, still bossing everybody about. Yeah, trying to. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of pointing and shouting. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been talking to Martin Tyler for the club website. And uh, I said to him that you are the noisiest team I've ever come across. Yeah, we've got a few few big voices in the team. Um, at times we sort of we get told we're not we're not loud enough, so we uh, we try and make sure we're, we're heard. But we do, we've got quite a few leaders in the team. Yeah, um, definitely. That's even even on the side, clear. we're missing missing one or two, and they're leaders as well. Right. Yeah, I, that was that was meant as an observation and a compliment almost, but mm. it certainly wasn't a criticism. But, and, and of course, no crowds means that it's amplified. Yeah, but you, you've got minute. a lot of players shouting at each other. Yeah, in a good way. Yeah, trying to organise. Yeah, yeah. trying to obviously critique as well at the same time. Yeah, um, you're uh, a student now. I am. Yeah, you're at the ripe old age of. Yeah, I decided to uh, open a university degree. Right. Um, which I'm in, coming to the end of my fifth year now, um, and I've got another year to go still. And which it's been hard work. In what subject? Uh, computer and IT with business. Right. But it's been uh, really full on. I probably chose the worst time to do it. I've got two kids. Um, was doing a bit of PT still and obviously playing football still. It was uh, it was quite a, <laughs> it's quite time consuming. Um, even now, I've got assignments due in at the minute, so evenings I'm working till till late in the evenings, most evenings. Um, it's difficult. But. Wow. Well, I'm I'm delighted that you're doing it because I can remember discussing with you when you were here that you you, you wanted to do some further education right back then. So yeah, I spoke with John Nutter about it quite a few times as well. Yeah. Said obviously he he was doing one at the Open University and um, he kept advising me, kept saying just do it, just do it. And I wish I started a year or two earlier, obviously, but uh, getting there at least now. And you got two girls. How old are they? Two girls. Uh, Aria is three. She's coming up four in June, so she starts school in September. And my eldest is Emily. She's seven. And she's uh, she's in her year three now. So how has homeschooling oh, been? It's been all on me. I've been doing it all. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. My wife works full time. So, um, yeah, it's been literally all on me. In the, back in the summer, um, my wife helped a lot because she, she lost her job just before the start of the lockdown. Uh, so she wasn't working for the first few months. Um, but, yeah, since then it's been, been me. I, my parents have been helping out babysitting where they can. And then I get back from football and start the homeschooling. Wow, brilliant. Yes. It's been Real there. life. Yeah, hard work. <laughs> yes, a lot of respect yes. for teachers now. A hell of a lot. Yes, yes. I, I can remember seeing um, it, it's a little way into the first lockdown someone saying all teachers should get a million pounds a week. Immediately. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. 
I imagine the environment's different when the kids are at school. They all want to listen and learn, maybe, but... It is different. Yeah, at home, yeah. there's just, yeah, it's, they've got so many distractions, it's hard to keep them focused. Yeah, that's true, that's true. So, um, with the best will in the world, you're, you're not going to be probably playing National League football in five years' time, shall we say. So, where, where do you say, see yourself being then? Uh, I'm actually too short, to be honest with you. That's why I wanted to do a degree to give myself some options. <coughs> but... Um, I still want to be involved in football if I can. Uh, I really enjoy it, obviously. Um, you going to do part any of life coaching for a badges? I've done a, done a coaching badge. Actually, did one my first year I was here. I did my level right. two. Um, so I might go on and do another coaching badge. The problem I've got at the minute is with the studying. It, I don't know how I'd fit that in at the minute doing the courses in the summer as well because sort of the end of module assignments tend to be um, May, June. Um, so yeah, so I think I focus on getting the degree finished before I yes. try and take on anything else. Yeah, um, cause yeah. you got to put the hours in as well with the coaching. Uh, I'm not sure how I fit it in right now. Right. But, um, but yeah, possibly staying coaching. Uh, possibly looking to get into business as well. Um, yeah, got a few a few little ideas. I'm not quite sure for definite where I end up. And uh, just to finish off, you've been remarkably successful at Boromwood, really. I, I don't mean that. That sounds insulting, and it isn't meant to be. But you've had the agony of losing in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, that was a high and a low, obviously. Um, yeah. Especially with the man getting sent off in the first minute, he felt like this is this is our day, this is our chance. Um, and we come so close, so yeah. But he left he left you hungry for more. Obviously, we made the playoffs again two yeah. years after that last 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 season, um, and lost out there in the semi final. So yeah, disappointing, but some success at the same time. But not quite the sort of success you you want as a player. You want to go the extra step, obviously. Sure. And is that the, a, a strong objective this season to get in the playoffs again? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think most of the teams are quite tight at the minute. There's not many points separating probably about 10, 10 clubs. So I think a lot of clubs have got their eye on making the playoffs. Um, and it's something we obviously want to achieve as a club. Well, I'm very grateful to you for staying late and that you're probably the last uh, Boreham Wood person here. And it's great to see you. It will be in the wrong colour shirt, as I always say. <laughs> and uh, all the very best for the future. Cheers, thank you very much.